guys, welcome to Empower Your Body. I'm Alicia Kliegel. Today we're going to be offering you some tips on how to eat balanced, also give you a great glute workout, and also speak about reconnecting. Stay with us. The movie Eat, Pray, Love comes out this month, and it was a book put into a movie, and it's about a woman who thinks her life is over, travels the world, reconnects, and finds joy and happiness and peace inside of herself. So I thought it was a wonderful theme to use for our episode today. So we're going to focus on balanced, healthy eating. What I'd like you guys to do is please intake the proper amounts of foods for yourself. That's individual, of course, but in order to get the body that you're looking for, it's really important to make sure that you eat properly. I get a lot of comments about this. It is important. I do want to make sure I emphasize eating balanced and well is critical to you reaching your fitness goals. So how do I want you to eat? Please check with your doctor. Make sure you don't have any allergies or specific foods that you have to stay away from on medications. But generally, your proteins want to be lean, fishes, <laughs> fish, <laughs> nuts. You want to stay with beans egg whites, your fats, they want to be healthy, omega-3 fats. Again, walnuts are very beneficial, avocado, salmon, olive oil. These are very healthy fats, not the bad fats, not the saturated fats. And then you want to stick with complex carbs, not simple carbs. Nothing that will just break down very quickly. Complex carbs, high fiber grains, multi-grain breads, brown rice, sweet potatoes instead of white potatoes. And of course, make sure you drink a lot of water. Very, very important. You guys know how I feel about water and fiber. So my question to you is how many grams of fiber should you be taking in in one day? So we're doing glutes. I have three activities for you to help your glutes be nice and firm and strong. First one that we're going to do is we're going to get on all fours. Please follow me. I'd like your hands directly under your shoulders. I'd like your knees directly under your hips please. Even weight on all four. What I'd like you to do is we'll take the left leg in and out. The idea is to exhale out, please. And now you keep it out after 10 and up, 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 up. Up, once again, we'll do 10 of these. Next activity, out, and out, and out, and out, and out. I want all three of those activities. You could do 10 repetitions each, and I'd like you to do it three times in a row. Then you go right to the next leg. If you guys notice, my foot is flexed. I'm, my foot is flexed. It's not pointed. I don't want them pointed. Let's do five. activities three times in a row. So you did pretty much three sets of 10 over here, three sets of 10 over here, each one. Now we stand. Now I want you to go into balance. Pivoting at the hip, guys, not the back. And up. If you notice, I'm pivoting at my hip, not my back. I am not rounding my back. I am pivoting at my hip. I'm keeping my back flat. I want you to do 10 on that leg, 10 on the other leg. Now we're gonna move over to one-legged squats. In the gym, you can find many machines that you can use. I would prefer for your knee not to go past your toe. It keeps your knee safest. Doesn't mean that you cannot do one-legged squats or squats with that not occurring, but it's just the safest. So again, I'd like you to put your foot near the obstacle that you're using hands. The goal is to come into this position. I should be 90 degrees straight everywhere as opposed to this, this, 
I want flat back, extend your arms, exhale up. I have to say that I cannot quite believe that I'm doing one-legged squats looking at New York City. It's so beautiful and somewhat enjoying it. My clients would kill me. <laughs> enjoying them, right? I want you to press your heels into the ground. That engages your gluteus maximus a bit more. And I want you to exhale up, please. Once again, depending on your fitness level, you can do these squats. Start slowly, two sets of 10, until you feel like your knees are safe enough to maybe go into three sets of 15, 18 to 20. So those are three exercises for you, your power three right there for nice, strong, hard, sexy glutes. How many grams of fiber should you get in a day? The answer is at least 25. There have been days I have taken in way more <laughs> it's not a good day <laughs> for my belly, but at least 25. Fiber is very, very important. And also when you're taking in more fiber, please drink water. So your Aspire Higher section today is about reconnecting. We're staying with our theme of Eat, Pray, Love. I want to know from you guys what helps you reconnect. What keeps you in touch with your soul or something that you feel is more powerful than you? I'd like to know what you do to reconnect. I know what I do is I like to just feel all the wind on me. I listen to the sounds. I really like to just stay focused in the moment and present. There is always something beautiful in every moment. I believe that. And the older I get, and the more that I watch humanity around me, I know there's lots of terrible things, but there's also lots of beautiful things. And that helps me to stay reconnected, having that optimism that there is good. So I hope you enjoyed today's show. For more workouts that you feel will be very beneficial to you, please go to empoweryourbody.com. Check out my downloadables. These are workouts you can put right on your computer or your handheld. Please subscribe. Also, please continue to watch Click Fitness and all the other shows that we have here. And also, remember, every Tuesday I'll be offering a video response to the question that I feel deserves the best answer that can help you guys the most. Not deserves, y'all deserve. <laughs> but the one that I feel will assist you guys the best. So please, until next time, don't ever forget to be well, eat well, drink plenty of water, and don't ever forget to empower your body.